Hi Leo, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your 2021 first quarter. That means from January to March 21st, the spring equinox. Um, that's what this reading covers. So it's just first three months. For me, I was thinking, geez, you know, doing the whole year ahead, I'm never going to remember what I said for November and so I thought let's just take it for a glimpse you know a little glimpse three months ahead see what's coming up over the winter season I'm taking things by the season now so here in the northern hemisphere we're into our winter season the cards are ready okay Leo let's cut them and so it's a time to it's a time for hibernation, hibernation, I should say. <laughs> it's also time to let go, you know, of fear, hate, anger. Um, it's, it's, it's to do, it's the time in the northern part of the medicine wheel, the white, it represents a spirit and our elders, you know, our grandparents that are closest to the spirit world, you know, and they're so close that they may get messages or visions in their dreams, be able to relay them to us. Also, the all the wisdom that they've collected in their, their bundle you know their medicine bundle which is their life their hero's journey um it's a time of the north is the time of the 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 spirit you know when we're um when we are hibernating we're getting that withdrawal we have that time to go within introspection like i said letting go flushing out that stuff because we have spring coming which is renewal and opening a door to be open you know so let's see what's going on here for you leo <gasps> wow first out of the door in january is the nine of cups there's I, some wish achievement some emotional fulfillment you wanted that's going to come right away in January. Okay. Uh, you may be celebrating it alone. It might be very personal achievement to you. Um, then you had the death card, which is funny because I was just talking about the winter, which is what winter is, right? It's the, the time when everything dies and goes to sleep. And then comes the spring and rebirth. So there's some sort of ending to something here. In a way, I think it's something you wanted. You wanted this ending. There's something that... there Because he... I like this card. Like, look at him. He's looking off into the distance. And way off into the distance, you can see the temple the um what do they call that place in england um oh, hedge hedge i hate when i forget my words i'm forgetting my words a lot when I, as i'm getting old but anyway because that represents life to him right there right that's where he wants to be but it's a very long way to come down the stairs he needs to take the first step out of here and begin his new life but he's he's sit, still mourning his old one up here right and so it's about getting out the first step to your new life is your first step opening this door you know and getting out there it might be an actual actually meaning get outside you know uh, I, I heard somewhere that vitamin D is one of the things that it really helps you fight COVID, um, the virus. So now I just heard it somewhere. I'm not a doctor. 
but I heard it. And it's funny, the D for D. So you may need some vitamin D. But it's saying that for you to make fulfill your dreams too and your wishes, part of it, it is stepping outdoors. It also might be going somewhere like you may dream or um, fantasize about going somewhere ancient. It has a very old history, okay? And then you have the high priestess. And the high priestess is about higher learning, of course, going from one level to another. This could be, well, you could be getting retrained or taking some training to go up a level in what you're doing somehow, make more money or get more stature. Um, sometimes this is about commitment too, like um, it, it represents institutions like hospitals and prisons and churches and government and all that so that might have something to do with an institution could be you could be in the business of death actually in the death business um or I don't know. I get the idea it's retraining here, I think. You know, I think that you're mastering some sort of new level of what you have, what you practice, whatever it is you practice, okay? I think you're achieving some new level of mastery here, okay? So let's see what the cards have to tell us. Tell me about this Nine of Cups for Leo in January. Right out the hop, there's there's some there's some fulfillment. There's something here that you could have. It's at your fingertips. Um, it could have something to do with your family. Um, ah, look at that. You got it twice. Hierophant here. Some sort of higher um, learning. Uh, I also think that you could be going through a rite of passage age, like a life cycle age, where you're going from like child to, to youth or youth to adult. It's that life Passover time. And so there's, you could want different things than you did before. Different things are important to you or you hold more valuable, not money valuable. Uh, could be spiritually valuable. Um, there could be some sort of spiritual lesson about love here that you're learning. Um, like I said, you could be in the caring field because you got this Hierophant right on the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is you're accepted or you pass a training because the Nine of Cups is a yes. So I, whatever training you you enter, you're going to pass, okay? Um, it's going to end an old life and begin a new. I think there's going to, it's going to make doors open for you, okay? Um, tell me about the death card here. This is the old the, at life I think it's going to end. It's going to change your life, basically this this accomplishment this training this um perhaps test you know uh it's yeah it's something that's going to change your life oh temperance and the seven of swords um you're trying to gain some sort of headway you're trying to see, get ahead of the game or something like that. That's what this is. Sometimes this is um, also discarding 
like some of the disregarding some of the information or something like that. There is an element of cheating here. There is an element of trying to get away with something. Okay, so be careful because if that's the case, you will be caught. If someone is watching, you know, something like that. Okay, someone is watching and you know there's a lot of messages here about the spirit you know and i think karma too there's karma messages here as well and um i think it's saying you need some more balance in your life right like look at this um this crone up here he dreams of his life outside but does he ever go outside no he doesn't he's still mourning his life inside and he's not going out there he's not taking that step there's some sort of fear here um you know there could be a fear I almost get the feeling there could be some sort of a fear. You missed your chance. You missed your boat or something like that. But I don't think so. I think that you got to really stay in balance. You 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 got to have more balance in your life. So you, you should. I think it's going to change that. That perception. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't really get the feeling of cheating here. It's too good with all this high priest energy and the temperance on top of it. Um, you know, it could be a feeling of feeling cheated, feeling cheated somehow. Um... You know, there's something uh, you could be hiding or somebody's hiding here. It's like hiding. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I, I, it's, it's this looking at the, out at the life you want and you got to step into it. You got to come down those stairs out of the tower and open the door and step outside and take, you know, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step they say so that's it's so easy you know seems difficult sounds difficult but so easy wow that is so gorgeous so look at that queen of pentacles um with the hierophant the queen of pentacles could be a female or male earth sign around you uh virgo taurus or capricorn the, you know the, this could be marriage this could be proposal this could be commitment very much the high priest like i said it's about higher learning and 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 reaching a higher level of knowledge you know um understanding a higher level of understanding uh but it's also about institution and the institution of a marriage so this could be a promise a commitment to someone um this could someone you may feel brings you higher like you get elevates you as a person right so this is near the end of january something is happening here with this earth sign let's go into february you have the nine of pentacles yeah nine of pentacles sorry about the glare eee. there she is with her falcon the eight of swords And the King of Wands. There you are, Leo. Ooh, 
ooh, ooh, ooh, ooh, ooh. And right under this earth sign, too, I might say, this earth sign could be a Taurus, too, because we have the high priest here and the queen of pentacles. So it could be, <laughs> not could be, it could be um, a Taurus energy. Okay, it doesn't have to be. Anyway, um, so nine of pentacles is kind of like wanting to stay single independent um really wanting your individuality okay feeling perhaps you might doubt you might doubt something here you might doubt yourself you might doubt the the You know, there could be some sort of deception going on here with this earth sign here, okay? You, you know, I think some of this you really want with this person, but part of you is afraid. There's a part of you that's afraid. And instead of being on the level, you use deception, okay? perhaps lies you could lie about things you don't even need to lie about okay just say it now this nine of pentacles you know this is one of you it's kind of interesting you got these two nines here right this is bringing you closer and closer to your tens i told you you might be at like some sort of life cycle um right a passage age you're kind of stepping in from this to that um, because there's those two nines there. Like I said, um, this nine of pentacles is, you know, this is time to yourself, right? This is time to yourself. She wants to get away. She needs to think about what her next move is. She doesn't really want to commun communicate with people except by Falcon. So she doesn't want to see anybody personally face to face right now this could be in, in the beginning of february you may not want to see people face to face you might need some time you'll only communicate by text or messenger perhaps uh but and you also could be trying to save some money for um your plan you you could have a plan all right you have a plan in the making um then there's some sort of doubt, you know, with this Eight of Swords. I think you, you, you have a plan, but you don't see an exact way to it. Like, uh, in some ways, you feel restricted or restrained. Like, you're... It's doubt. It's doubt. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles for Leo. There is the King of Cups. King of Cups. So this could be a water sign. King of Cups also is someone who doesn't put the effort in. He just doesn't. He wants you to come to him. You know, he 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 doesn't like leaving his chair and he doesn't want to put the effort in he 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 wants you to come and do it for him so he's limited himself in some way and you can see like i said the nine of pentacles they're just staying where this person is just staying where they are they only want to communicate by computer or texting they don't even want to talk on the phone you know what i mean um, it seems like there's actual communication missing here. Could be with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or uh, this could be your energy too, Leo. You're not really wanting to put a lot in, you know. Um, I think you talk the talk, but you don't walk the walk is what I'm thinking at the beginning of February. All right. 
So this Eight of Swords, you're doubting yourself, you're holding back, or you're saying it's like, I can't, I can't. I didn't lose any here, did I? The Devil and the Three of Cups. So what's holding you back partly is the Devil, right? There's this um your temptation whatever it is your weakness your thing that holds you back that says but wait and um it does hold you back from some of your dreams some of your fulfilling your own wishes you know partly it's the devil you say i you and you don't want to see that it is the devil you don't want to see that it's the booze that it's the drugs that it's the um <sighs> video games that it's the gambling whatever it is you don't want to see that it's that you know you just see that you're being blocked from your dreams here and really if you gave up the devil you could walk right into your dreams you'd be celebrating it would be something to celebrate you may have something to celebrate here you know you may realize the devil is holding you back you know you this is you have to sacrifice here you know you can have other things and this is the realization that you're getting there is something to celebrate if you can leave the devil put the devil aside at times you know anyway the king of wands so this is you leo or somebody has to put the devil aside whatever the devil is for them Oh, I see this one too. <laughs> oh, Nine of Pentacles. This has been coming out a lot. And here you have it, your book ended, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So there's a lot of free spirited independence here. Um oh, talk about free spirited. Wooly, wooly, wooly. You got the Knight of Wands. Now yeah, this is some action. Wanting to take action for sure. This Leo does. Uh, you, th there's something you want to achieve here. You, like I said, you could be doing some higher learning, a, a course. Um, I think this is going to get you um, another, you know, uh, diploma or something on your wall. Uh, accreditation accreditation it's also going to allow you some sort of freedom i got to tell you this nine of pentacles and the knight of pentacles is all about uh perhaps traveling uh t definitely taking action on it's like achieving the next level whatever that is remember i told you we're going through a friggin um write a passage thing here okay now this is about freedom being unbridled not tied down okay it's also about um fast quick action taking action quickly moving quickly on this to me um I don't know. I think you've been saving up some money perhaps and you're ready to make a move. It could be a physical move. Physical in February it you could get an offer some you could get an op job offer that um, allows you more freedom 
I think. I think you're going to have more freedom somehow. You could get more money, but you'll also get more freedom. All right. And then here it is. Um, you know, this woman is, is handling, handling a real juggling act. She's walking on a stick while writing in a book holding all these ideas she's had. She's trying to get her ideas down on paper while walking a tight rope here. And, you know, it's like multitask. She's doing it on her tippy toes, too, I might add. You know, you might have some really good ideas in the world you work in. You might have some really good ideas for change, for um, co concepts, concepts to improve uh, what what it is, how the machine works, what like different, you know, what in whatever field you're in here. Um, because I said, um, the Page of Swords, you could be getting a message. You could be getting a message about a job, a job that requires you, I th perhaps, to actually move and to act on it quickly. Um, you may uh, uh, invite this person to come along. Um. yeah anyway let's see what's coming for march the nine of swords the prince of pentacles and the queen of wands whoa 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 so the nine of swords i can tell you right away that you're worried about something you know you might have be having trouble sleeping be having sleeping problems perhaps um i think there's something emotional bothering you but i think in some ways you don't know how to handle your emotions your um you don't know how to deal with them to to cope so uh like literally like exercises um a friend was telling me about something if i remember it i'll put it in the comments but anyway, uh, it's kind of just coping with all of the, could be your responsibilities, but I don't know. I feel like you're pressured or something. You feel like you have a lot of pressures. You feel like you, no matter what you do, you're dis could be disappointing someone the interesting thing here and here it is another nine you've got once you get the nine of pentacles twice you got the didn't you get another nine here nine of swords but oh yeah nine of cups yeah nine of cups so like i said you there's you have these kind of last challenges that you need to do to complete a lot of things you've been working on for a few years. So you're getting to this point where you're trying to complete it. Um, I get the feeling things aren't moving fast enough for you at times. You might have leaps and then pauses, leaps and then pauses. Uh, kind of like leapfrog, you know, somebody's someone's jumping over that person and then they're jumping over you um but there is going to be slow progress okay i think it's good that you take your time i think it's good that you're careful cautious you could feel vulnerable um i gotta tell you i feel like you're moving i feel like you're in a new place or new job that you're not used to doing yet you're new at this right you could be in a whole new department so you have a learning curve to be on so it's slow going you're 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 moving slowly which is fine it's carefully slowly 
um, you feel vulnerable perhaps, but it won't take long and you're going to feel in control. Um, I would advise you, there's two cards suggesting observe, watch, observe. See the cat underneath her chair? The cat watches and and sees everything that's moving and it does it certainly to hunt that's absolutely true but it's watching her you know um for her you know she's got eyes watching out for her she's got a fire going on behind her but she's not even worried about it you know what i mean like she um it feels in control okay so by the end of march you are going to feel in control this is going to take time like i said you've got some challenges here um i think one of your challenges is your own thoughts i think you have some sort of self-defeating or self-loathing um thought cycle that you get on remember the winter is a time to let go of fear time to let go of hate and anger and even the the hate and anger we have for ourselves and the disappointment it's time to let go of that forgive yourself give yourself a chance you know um you can do it give yourself time be patient so here we have you know exactly i think that you were expecting things to happen show promise before they have they haven't moved or showed fruits of your labor as quickly as you wanted this is taking longer than you expected um it's like watching paint dry <laughs> Because you're Leo, right? You're about action. Um, so you could be worried that... You might be worried that you're not going to get a job or you're not going to um, be able to hold this up. Like I said, you you got some self-doubts. You're not giving yourself enough time. You need to be more patient. And because we need time, right? We need time to learn. Oh my goodness, you got the star. So yeah, this is about faith. You can't see the end. You can't see that it will all work out. There is no guarantee. But that's what faith is about. Anyone that believes in God or the spirit, angels, see miracles, believe and faith and this is part of manifesting right manifesting is taking something that we'd like or wish for and start to make it a reality and the first part of it is the idea the wishing the and when you're wishing make sure you're specific don't just say i want a horse you know you don't know what's going to show up say what horse you want so what car you want don't be silly and you know ask for a lamborghini if that's not if that's not practical on a farm <laughs> what are you gonna do with a lamborghini on a farm you know what i mean so you know but this is you know things are it's kind of a wish card right you got a two wish cards actually um wow oh my god okay so yeah kind of a wish card with the prince of pentacles you just gotta take your time you have to be smart you know um a slow pace um you know it's all right we're all a little leery vulnerable about what's to come right and but you're still going to plodge forward uh, one step at a time. That's all you got to think about, eh? One day at a time. I'm just going to get through today sometimes, right? And then look at this. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. 
really strong fire energy. These people could be related, brother and sister. Uh, this could be one of your parents. This could be could be family. I get a feeling of relation here. Um, There might be some sort of power struggle uh, here. Also, I feel like I get the super strong feeling of gaining control of your life, feeling in complete control. Um, this is kind of, rep well, you got all three fire signs. You got Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. Each of them have gifts of their own. Sagittarius is able to change on a whim, move, relocate, um, friendly, talk to anybody, you know, um, very good at getting things going. Aries is a very gifted uh, talker as well. They're much better at negotiation um, and uh, the written word, good writers, they're articulate, you know, articulate. They also aren't afraid to stand up against any opponents. They'll face any opponent, okay? Now, the Leo is um the leo is very command uh commanding very courageous um sensitive able to see like a real leader you know the the leader of the three this pe this one can lead all of the people to safety like they just they're smart thinkers you know they're very smart they're very alpha as well capable all three are very capable so this you have a lot of fire energy here and i see you getting control over your life you're very happy with the direction that you're going in the end of at the end of every month i think you start with a little bit of doubt sometimes or go through a doubtful period in each month where you hesitate doubt yourself um perhaps get impatient too get impatient because fire wants to move eh? they don't like to be um you know, I want the results now <laughs> kind of thing. So, but by the end of March, you're going to feel in complete control of your life. You're going to feel like things are moving in the direction that you want. I think that you're also going to feel very passionate, very stimulated. Uh, um, I mean, you know in your heart like uh about how your life what you're doing what your causes are yeah so anyway leo you're gonna have to let me know in the comments below i love that you share your lives with me i feel very honored that you do that um please hit that like share and subscribe button if you haven't already it's all free and it helps a lot and i really appreciate it also this ad free video this month is brought to you by capricorn it's their birthday time and their time to send in their annual contribution of 25 dollars that 25 dollars represents a dollar for each video that i put out for their sign actually that i put out for all the signs they pay for their own but they get to watch them all and so do you ad free so thank you so much leo i uh happy new year and i'll talk to you soon let me know what you think bye